Morehouse College was the first institution to cancel college football in light of the global pandemic. But now they are charting their return to the field, albeit very carefully. It was kind of difficult because, you know, uh, you have a lot of things that you have to, to bring together to make sure that you're up to speed in terms of the, the COVID ramifications to keep everybody safe. So safety was the, the number one thing that we talked about. And even with that, uh, we lost a lot of practice opportunities. We lost a lot of um, strength and conditioning opportunities. Uh, we lost the entire month of February and um, we fell on maybe um, three weeks, uh, uh, four weeks in, in March, then had to cancel the last week and come back after about 10 days and finish up here for the spring game. So I'm, it's a blessing to be back uh, after having uh, lost the whole fall. And I'm just happy to have the kids back together. Trying to judge where his football team is performance wise is still a tough one to call for Rich Freeman. You know, uh, it's, it's tough. That's a difficult question for me to answer because it was some key pieces now that were missing this spring. We had a, a pretty good amount of young men that, that opted out. And, you know, we, we gave them every right to do so. We're not the type of program that hold a scholarship over a kid's head, uh, whether consciously or unconsciously. I made it clear to them, you know, hey, look, you don't feel comfortable, go ahead and take the spring off. And we had a good deal, bit of guys to do that. But we hope that they were able to keep themselves in shape. We hope we are able to utilize the remainder of the, uh, the summer uh, to get those guys back. You know, some of them are starting to get vaccinated. I've recently been vaccinated myself, so uh, hopefully things will get back to normal and we'll get back on track. Two pieces that are not missing right now for Morehouse, Santo Dunn and Michael Sims. The one-two punch at running back and quarterback is as good as they come in the SIAC. Uh, I did see Santo out there, right? Absolutely. So that, that, that's a big piece that, that, that's good that, to have out there. That's a good one to have, <laughs> and, and I'll tell you about not only him, but but Mike Sims, Mike Sims pretty much graduated. And Mike Sims basically delayed his graduation to come back and be our starting quarterback in the fall. And, and he's just one of many that has stories like that. And, and those, those are gonna be guys, all those guys that, that are out here, they're gonna be guys that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life, you know, because we were able to brave the pandemic together. Will fall football be smooth sailing for everyone? Will the world finally be back to quote unquote normal? No one has those answers, but one thing is certain, Morehouse will be prepared for whatever is in store. We have some pretty strict guidelines. We're nestled right across the street from the Morehouse School of Medicine, and we sit uh, uh, within the vicinity of the Centers for Disease Control. So, I mean, you had to make sure you dot every I and cross every T before we could even get together and have a weightlifting opportunity of practice. I think we even had some parameters in place to have Zoom meetings. <laughs> you know, so I think that uh, with the arduous schedule that we had this spring, I'm compelled to say that we, we should, it should be quite normal for us to navigate through the fall after having what we after having undergone what we went through this spring